Hello and welcome to another Fortnite video. So today is the day that we officially unlock the brand new hunting party skin. I've done everything I can and I got one more thing to do and that is eliminate one more opponent in Pleasant Park. If you guys were wondering why I wasn't posting so many videos yesterday, well, I was grinding all day to finish my challenges. Unlike every other season that I've done in the past, I complete the challenges every single week that they actually get released. This year, I had completed zero. So last night was a damn nightmare. So here we go, boys. Pleasant Park is the place to go to. One more kill. We're gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna shut the hell up. Let's get to it. Here we go. Let's get this dub. Not really. Let's just get the kill. One step at a time, boys. A little shit. Look at this little shit. Ta da! It doesn't matter. I just wanted to get that kill. Oh, baby. Here we go. So we have the ELIM back bling, which is an increment elimination count. That's what it stands for. Reactive. It displays your numbers of eliminations in the match, part of the aim set. And then we have the man himself, the aim skin. Thank you. What is that? <laughs> so as per usual the aim is a legendary skin he's actually quite bulky <laughs> i'm not gonna lie and then of course we're gonna put his back bling which makes him even more bulky but it's really cool it, it, it really is a cool skin I, I wish it was slimmer but nonetheless it's a very cool skin in my opinion all right just just stop it you're a robot you have no emotions what, what the hell are you doing here we have the skin itself with a pip squeak pickaxe. How funny is that? I, I forgot to take it off, but it looks actually quite hilarious. That's right. Everybody just gather around and uh, admire. Yes, that is right. <laughs> I love the emotes, dude. We're going to be playing this uh, limited time mode, the Team Terror, I think it is, or whatever the hell it is. And I'm playing this mode for one reason. Although the enemy team is over here, I want to go to Flush Factory because I want to show you something that pretty much has to do with this brand new skin here. And I'm definitely going to arrive there very late and I'm probably going to die. And uh, this is probably going to suck, okay? <laughs> so I have to get there before the storm arrives. And that way we can also get to see the skin for what it is. As you can see, it's beauty and it's glory. I like how his arms and boots are like frozen. Like if you look at the bottom of his boots and his pants are kind of like iced out. Maybe he was like frozen in time and then defrosted and now he, he just arrived here on the map. I mean, I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, with the whole butterfly effect that we went into like a different dimension and then came back into the same map or I don't know, some weird shit like that. And here's why I love this mode. Like, why would you not want to play this mode when you have all this crazy shenanigans? Hey, look at this guy. Wow, I just missed that. You guys know I'm usually not a fan of, like, these shitty limited time modes, but this mode is an exception. Damn, these fucking zombies climb up and shit. Look at this guy. Hey there, bud. Okay, we gotta get going, because we gotta go to Flush Factory so we can check out what it is that I wanted to show you. Let me just get a shotgun, get loaded up. As you can see in the back of the back bling, you can see that it's displaying the kills. Which is actually a very simple feature, but it just looks cool. It kind of reminds me of the Blockbuster skin. I believe that's the name of the uh, the first weekly seasonal skin that we had the ability to unlock. If you guys recall, you were able to edit the face. You had like certain presets that you can put on, on that particular skin. Well, this is pretty much the same, except instead of being able to customize the face, you can actually just view your kills in the back. But anyways, we're, we're running late here, so let's go to Flush Factory real quick. Now, as you approach Flush Factory... You can see this uh, this flag right here, and that flag represents the arrival of this skin. That is super cool. You can pick access, so that's good. And <laughs> this is pretty much the main reason why I wanted to 
come into this mode so I can be able to show you that flag there. And this mode also allows me to just show off the skin a little bit better with peace of mind without having to worry about 99 other people to kill me. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Take advantage of it while you can, boys. Ta -da! As much as I hate these zombies, they are a perfect distraction for your enemies to be focused on, and then you can just flank them. No, don't kill them. Oh, well, man. Over the past couple of days since I've been playing more Fortnite, because I had stopped playing it for a while, I think I've learned to appreciate the <laughs> regliding ability slightly more than I did when it first got announced for some weird reason. I don't know. You know, I didn't think I was going to be able to show you guys this skin, um, at least not today. I was missing everything. I only had, like, one challenge done per week. I was just so backed up, so behind. It was ridiculous. Got him. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, these teammates are savages. Man, hit him with a fucking quad launcher. Like, chill out, man. He's already down. Gotta be so rough, man. I don't even think if I've asked you in this video yet. If I did, I probably forgot already. But what do you guys think about this, uh, this weekly or seven week challenge skin. How do you rate it in comparison to the other ones we've had in the game? Do you like it better or do you not? God damn it. Hey. I think I'm a little bit too close for comfort here. Got him. I just want to get the materials. Don't kill me, please. When you get to enemy territory, it, it it gets crazy. Cause you don't know who's who and where's what and I don't know man, it's just fucking nuts. There's only two people left. Alright, I have no idea where the fuck the bad guys are, but uh we just won. Won't you look at that? The easiest victory royale. <laughs> you'll ever get in your life. This is the mode that every noob plays whenever they just want to secure a win. Totally guaranteed. If, if you're not the best player, just go here, rack up them dubs, and then go show off to your friends. It's the best thing you can do. And why are these zombies so goddamn- All right, guys, we're gonna try a quick solo here. All right, we got a twin, all right? Let's do it. So how long can we last in the first solo of the day? This is gonna be a nightmare. But let's get to the party. We're gonna go land into the uh, poolside here. Can we make it out of Lazy Links alive? That is the question here, my friends. By the way, in that new mode, if I could change one thing, it's probably that I would like for it to be 50 v 50. More enemies, more people to kill. Well, it's only 32 people. You don't really have a whole lot of options, really. Who else is here? Somebody else in here. Hey. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, bud. It is I, AIM. And I'm here to aim and terminate. Wow, okay. That dude shot me through like six windows. Anyways, boys, there you have it. The brand new AIM legendary hunting party skin. I really like it. Am I gonna use it forever? Probably not. It's kind of bulky. If you're wondering what it looks like with different different back blings. Some of them actually look really good on him. This one looks really cool. Kind of goes with it. So does this one. I mean, there's a lot. Of, look at that. That looks beast-like. There's a lot of them that look really nice on him just because of his structure. He's got a really cool structure. Um, so a lot of these back blings do go with him very, very well, as you can see. Look how cool that looks. Super, super cool, dude. Like, I mean, the skin in, in general, the skin in general is is a beastly skin. I really do like it. And it's a free skin. It's a legendary. All you have to do 
is grind the game. That's why I always recommend getting the battle pass because you do get those battle pass uh, challenges for the weekly challenges that do, obviously, aside from all the stuff that you get and all the V-Bucks you get, you get to get these uh, challenge skins once you complete them all. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, leave it a like. All right. <laughs>